Hey everybody, so this is going to be another Hard Candy Loves and Hates video. I did one a while back, I want to say maybe almost two years ago, on all the products I purchased from Hard Candy and what I thought about them. And I don't know why I gravitate to the Hard Candy line as much as I do, but I always find interesting things there. And they're sold at Walmart, so they're relatively inexpensive, so I just feel like I always need to try them out. So since that video, which I'll have linked down below if you want to check out the products I reviewed last time, a couple years ago I picked up a number of new things that I just wanted to go over what I thought about them whether they are worth purchasing or not and then I kept in a, a couple um, kind of old good favorites that I'm still using all the time so where to start um, I think I'll start with one of my favorites this one is called Fox in a Box hard candy and I think it has a yeah the color is truth or dare so first of all look how cute that packaging is and then if you open it up that's what it looks like inside. It comes with a little brush and then a blush and a bronzer here. And if I swatch them both side by side, I don't usually use them individually. I'll swatch them for you. And I'm losing sunlight really fast, so hopefully it's not too dark. So they look like there. The blush is super pretty and they both have shimmer in them. So you may wonder why would I need a shimmery bronzer? It's not something I typically use, but I use this thing all the time, like all the time. I just take my blush brush and I swirl the two colors together and I'll put it, you know, all over my cheeks, the backs of my cheeks. I'll put it down my nose, my forehead. It just brings color and warmth and like life to my face. Here, I'll swirl them together so you can see what color that makes. But Days I'll use this is when I'm not really wearing makeup or I'm just kind of running out the door. I'll show you it there. That's the color it ends up with. I don't know if it really shows you how pretty it looks on the cheeks, but I end up wearing it like probably three or four days a week on the days where I'm just putting on BB cream, I'll put on that really fast, some mascara, and that's about it. It's just, I don't know, it's a huge favorite of mine, so I wanted to mention that. Next one I'm going to talk about is a dud, and uh, this is a newer purchase to me. I got it maybe three months ago. This is the Hard Candy CC Correction Cream Broad Spectrum SPF 15. You guys know I love my BB and CC cream, so when I saw Hard Candies, I was like, I need to try it out, because I love Hard Candy and I love BB creams. The shade I got is light, and unfortunately, I was really disappointed. I thought this could be like an inexpensive product, I'll show you on the back of my hand, that I could just throw on when I'm, you know, dropping my kids off at school and I don't want to look completely dead to the world, but um, I don't want to waste like my... I don't know if you guys are like this, I don't want to waste my nice BB creams or foundations if I'm not actually going anywhere or I don't really care what I look like, but I just want to look a little bit put together, so I want that kind of in-between drugstore BB cream. And I had high hopes for this guy, but it's just no good. Um, the color's okay, it's not really the color, it's when you rub it on your skin it goes patchy and kind of wonky, if that makes sense, and then doesn't really cover a whole lot. And I do always have to set it with a powder. I tried it so many different ways because it is kind of greasy and it's not very long lasting. So if you put a lot of time and effort into it, you can make yourself look presentable, but you really have to put a setting powder on top. You can't just run out the door with it. And even at that, I would give it maybe four hours of wear. So yes, not worth it in my opinion. So that was product number two. The next one, what should I do? Is also, I got it along with that BB or CC cream like three months ago. This is the Heart Candy. It's an eyeshadow palette. It's called Birthday Suit. First of all, how cute is that packaging? Totally sucked me in. I've been loving matte eyeshadows. You probably saw this in a favorites video a couple months ago. Those are the colors there, and they're all matte. And like I said, I've been really liking matte eyeshadows, so I wanted to try this out. This one, I'm not calling it a love or a hate. It's inexpensive, so to me it's not worth the risk. I mean, it is worth the risk that all of these shades are not amazing. What I'm trying to say is that there's a couple in here that I do like. I really like this burnt orange color. I'll use that quite a bit. Um, and like the topier kind of purpley colors in this area here I'll use. But anything light is really powdery and chalky and doesn't blend very well. So it's kind of hit or miss. I'll give you two of the colors to show you what they look like. There's the coppery, kind of orangey brown color, and there's another dark brown color. So, I mean, for, I think it was like $5, they definitely do their job, and they're matte, and they're beautiful, but they're, not every shade in here is a hit, so it's kind of an in-between one. And then the second eyeshadow is called 
I Defy, by the way, I love all their packaging names. That probably is why that sucks me in. I'm such a sucker. Okay, I Defy Hard Candy Metallic Eyeshadow. It comes in a tube like this. And the color I have is Golden Earth. And then when you open it, it comes on a wand like that. Put it on my hand for you. Oh, the color is so pretty. Just reminding myself I need to use this more often. There it is there. It's cream eyeshadow. Very metallic as you can see. Goes on super easily like most cream eyeshadows do. And it does not crease. I can say that. It's, I've tested it out many times and it's long lasting. It does not crease. It keeps its metallic shine. It's beautiful. I, I almost need to pick up more of these because I've been really, really happy with this guy. So this is a definite hit. And the last product I wanted to throw in, I did mention in my last video, but I'm still using it constantly, so I thought it deserved to be mentioned again. It is the Honeymoon Blush. And I use quotes because I don't use it as a blush. But that's what the packaging looks like. It's a very pale pink color. It's baked like so. I've used quite a bit, as you can see. It used to be very rounded. Um, and it has marbling in it. And this is the prettiest highlighter ever. I'm wearing it today. I don't know if you can tell around this area here, but it's just like a subtle, soft pink glow. They put it right here. So I don't know if the pink's picking up on the camera, but it really does give your face like a highlighty look, but with a subtle baby pink to it, and I'm really into that look. So yeah, this was, again, everything's under like $5 or thereabouts anyways, and I would use this, I don't know. I go in phases, but I at least use it once a week so whenever I'm wearing a highlighter. This is one of the ones I reach for the most. And it's not like too in your face like some of those highlighters. You don't have to be super careful with it. So I'm loving this. So yeah, that's it for the new products I've tried from Hard Handy, at least that I could find and remember. Let me know if you've tried out anything that's worth me checking out down in a comment down below. Like I said, I love the line and I want to see what else is new out there. And if you have any questions, let me know. And that's about it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.